our previous video, we created and edited a filter which was designed to find processes with PowerShell in the name and hidden in the command line. Now we are going to perform a scan of our enterprise using this filter so that we might find processes matching these criteria. Although special permissions are required to create filters, they are not required in order to perform enterprise scans. Before we create our scan, let's take a look at a helpful function you can use when creating a filter. This function lets you define a severity for a filter and associate that severity with a scan. Here's how it works. When you create a filter, you can assign a severity value to it. The range is 1 to 5, with 5 being most severe. When you create an enterprise scan, you assign a minimum threshold for evaluating detected anomalies. A scan threshold of 3 will find anomalies detected by filters with values of 3 and above. If a scan finds an item and the filter for the found item is within the range of the scan, then NCASE Endpoint Security creates an event. Events contain lots of data allowing you to further investigate the anomaly. Let's begin. To create a scan, first click the side navigation button and select Scans. The Enterprise Scans page opens. We click the Add button and select Create Anomaly Detection Scan. The first step is to select one or more targets. Let's click the Iridium Electronics group and then select all the machines within that group. We then click Next. Now we can select the filter we created in our previous video, Potential Threat 01, and click Next. We can run the scan immediately or on a schedule. Here, we'll run it once a day at this designated time. Then click Next. We name our scan Find Potential Threat 01 and click Finish. Our scan is now listed on the Enterprise Scans page and will run at the scheduled time. Let's switch to the Task Activity page via the Side Navigation button to see how things are running. Here we can see that the scan has begun. Back on the Enterprise Scans page, we can see from the Details icon that the Find Potential Threat 01 scan is still running. Now the scan is complete. The yellow triangle indicates that the scan could not be run on all endpoints. Let's click the Details button to see which endpoints were running the anomalous process as detected by our scan. The scan was run on these three endpoints. Let's close this side panel now and see what the scan found. We click View Open Events. The Events page opens, displaying the anomaly caught by our filter, Potential Thread 01, which looked for a process name that included PowerShell and where the command line contained Hidden. We click Snapshot for more details. Here is the process itself, PowerShell.exe, with Hidden in the command line. For more context, we can click the Tree button, which opens a panel that shows where this file resides in the process hierarchy. And that's how you use filters in conjunction with enterprise scans to find anomalies in your enterprise.